the Lord has been so good to you, why not stand to your feet and give him your praise offering? Father, you deserve it. Receive our praise, oh God. Receive our praise, oh God. Glory and honor will give unto you. Receive our praise, oh Lord. Receive our praise, oh Lord. Receive our praise, oh God. Praise is an honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, oh Lord. Receive our praise, receive our praise, oh Lord. Lord, receive. Receive our praise, oh Lord. Glory. Lord, receive our praise. Give it unto him, receive it, Lord. Glory and honor. Lord, receive, receive our praise, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. I say, receive my praise, oh God. Receive my praise, oh God. Glory and honor I bring unto you. Receive my praise, oh Lord. Oh Lord, receive my praise, receive my praise, oh Lord. Father, receive it. Glory and honor, glory and honor will bring us. Oh, receive my praise, oh Lord. So I say, Bayeti, Bayeti, go sing, Bayeti, King of Kings. Say, Bayeti, Bayeti, go sing, Bayeti, go sing, King of Kings. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a thank suffering. He is worthy to be praised. I said, Piety, Piety, go sing. Piety, 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 go sing. Piety, go sing. King of Kings. You are crowned. I say you are crowned, Lord of all. Lord, you are crowned, King of Africa. Who can deny you are crowned? You deny you are crowned, Lord. Who can deny you are crowned, oh Lord? No one can deny that you are crowned. Who can deny you are crowned? Oh yeah, yeah. The Lord has been good to us. Yeah, my God is good. Yeah, our God is good. I 
ayer, 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 When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. When you see me dance, I dance as a winner, man. Oh, when you see me sing, I sing as a winner, man. Oh, yeah. When you see me jump, I jump as a winner, man. When you see me dance, I dance as a winner, man. All I say, yeah, 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 yeah
know about you, but I know my God is mighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you are mighty. You are mighty. Walau oluma kaye o, you are mighty. Walau awo olau o, you are mighty. She be walo for you or on sha shabura. She be in o for you or on sha shabura. Walau akba ye o, you are mighty o. Oh yeah, I will exalt your name, for thou hast lifted me. Lord, up of my enemies, your banner over me is Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. For that was lifted me. Up of my enemies. Oh, your banner over me is Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. For that was lifted me. Above my enemies, above my enemies, your banner, your banner over me is not. I will lift up Jesus higher. I will lift up Jesus higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up Jesus. Oh, oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up Jesus. I will lift up Jesus. I am. I will lift up Jesus. I am. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up Jesus. I am. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up Jesus. All I say, Cari go, Cari go, Jesu Niki, Cari go, Cari go, Cari go, Jesu Niki, Cari go. Come on! Cari go, Cari go, Jesu Niko, Cari go, Cari go, Cari go. All I say, carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Hallelujah. Carry me the go. Baba, carry me the go. Carry me the go. Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go. Carry me the go. I say, carry me the go, Baba, carry me the go, or no go. Carry me the go, Baba, carry me the go, Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. All I say, we are going higher. We are, we are going higher. I say, we are going higher. Yahweh, Yahweh, 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shout a louder hallelujah. Our God is good. Wherever you are, I say our God is good. You are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. On behalf of our diocesan and missioner, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakai, and our vicar, Venerable Foronsho Orelu Agwelusi, we welcome you to another edition of Midday Prayer. We trust God to meet you at your point of need this afternoon in the name of Jesus. You will not pray in vain in the name of Jesus. Let us give glory to God this afternoon. Let us give him honor, praises, and adoration for all he has done for us. Let us thank him. Let us appreciate him. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. We bless you, O oh God. We magnify you. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the ancient of this. You are the I am that I am. You are the unchangeable changer. Glory, honor, praises, and thanks be to you, O God. Father, we bless your holy name. Appreciate him today. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. He is your God. He is the one who has brought you this far. He has, is the one who has sustained you. He is the one who has kept you from every danger. Appreciate him. I honor him. Acknowledge him. He's a great God. He's a faithful God. He's a dependable God. He's a mighty Father. Let us appreciate him. Let us appreciate him. Let us exalt him and bless him. He's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful God, faithful God, dependable God. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. How many of us can remember some, some of God's benefits? How uh, many of us can remember those things that we have received from him? That we cannot even pay for. And so, if you are among the category of people, I want you to say, Father, I thank you today for all the good things I receive from you on daily basis. I thank you today for every blessing I receive from you on daily basis, for all the benefit that I enjoy from you on daily basis. For all the blessings that my family is enjoying from you on daily basis. For all the blessings that my children are enjoying from you on daily basis. God, I have come to thank you. I have come to appreciate you. I have come to give you all the glory. I have come to give you all the honor. Blessed be to your name, O oh God. If you are Sure that you have benefited from God's blessings and favor and mercy. Appreciate and acknowledge him for what he is doing in your life and your entire family. Appreciate this God. Thank you, Father, for everything you are doing in my life. Appreciate him for what God is doing in your ministry. The blessings that God is pouring upon others because of your ministry. 
appreciate him and thank him sincerely and say, God, I am grateful that you have continually used me as a vessel to be a blessing to my generation, to be a blessing to others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be to your name, O God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins today. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we need your mercy. Father, show us your mercy today. Forgive all our sins. In the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will forgive you all your sins. That in any way you have disappointed God. That in any way you are falling short of his glory. That the Lord will forgive and have mercy upon you. In the, Bible, the psalmist says, if I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Pray that the Lord will renew your strength and that he will fortify your life completely. He will purify you from every form of sin, committed knowingly or unknowingly. Pray that no sin will be able to be an obstacle to your prayer before God today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your pardon. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Thank you, O oh Lord, for fortifying us and purifying us from our sins. Receive all glory in the name of Jesus. Father, our coming today, Lord, let it be to your glory. In the name of Jesus, as we seek your face, O oh Lord, may we find you again in the name of Jesus. We have found you before, and when we find you, our lives never remain the same. When we discover you, our lives never remain the same. You transformed us, you kept us, you nurtured us. Father, we are grateful to you. Today, as we appear before you, as we focus on you, your greatness and your power, as we anticipate another encounter in your presence, Lord, let it be that we will find you today again in the name of Jesus both young and old, that have tabernacle, O oh Lord, this afternoon. Lord, anticipating your presence to be refreshed spiritually. Lord, King of glory, may we meet you again in the name of Jesus. All your children who believe in prayers and have poised for this prayer today. Father, wherever they are, Reach out to them in your mercy in the name of Jesus. Reach out to them by your grace in the name of Jesus. Reach out to them in your power in the name of Jesus. This afternoon, Father, let there be divine encounter. Let there be memorable encounter. Lord, to everyone and in the life of everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, King of glory. No one seek you and seek you in vain. Father, I pray that today, today, Lord, you will give us testimony. I pray today that you will give us testimony. Ancient of this, we have set our feet on this new year and we are not going to look back because your word says, he who puts his hand on the plow and look back is not fit. Is not fit. Is not fit for the kingdom of God. Father, we have put our hands on the plow and we are not looking back. Lord, we pray that you will encourage us. We pray that you will sustain us. We pray that you will empower us. We pray you will equip us. Lord, together with our family, we have 
dedicated ourselves to you. We are ready to work with you in this new year. We are ready to serve you in this new year. We are ready, oh God, to tabernacle with you in this new year. We are ready to trust you the more this new year. Lord, we say we are not looking back. Lord, we are committed. Lord, strengthen us on daily basis. Empower us on daily basis. Hold us in your able hands in the name of Jesus. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty, faithful, and dependable name, we pray. People of God, you are welcome once again. And as we continue this day, it is good for us to hear the word of God. It is no longer news that we have started a new year. It's not a news because we have spent 13 days in this new year. So it is getting uh, uh, further and further and in no distant time the word new will be removed. And so it will just be the year 2021. Uh, the fact that we have started the year, we prayed to enter this year. And God answered our prayer and we have entered the year. Now that we have entered the year, we should be driven by purpose. And that purpose should be targeting how we are going to finish well is to target how we are going to finish well. And so, as we have started with God, we need to journey with him consistently so that we can finish well. So that we can finish well. The year is a journey. When you look at a new year as a journey, you will understand what I am saying and what I'm about to say. And it is not the beginning of a journey that matters. No, not at all. It is not the beginning of a journey that matters. But it is getting to the destination. Getting to the end of the journey. Safely. Safely. That is what matters. When you get to the end of a journey safely, or you get to a destination uh, 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 safely, Destination safely. You no, you won't bother yourself about all the things that you went through to arrive at your destination. And so we should focus on how we can finish well, how we can finish strong. You will agree with me, based on experience, that there is a lot of things happen between the beginning of a journey and the end of a journey. And between the beginning of a new year and the end, many things will happen. True to be told. Yes, many things will happen to say the truth. And the one thing that will happen, one of those things that will happen is that it is not everyone that started the journey of the new year, that we see the end or that we journey to the end. My prayer is that that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. That will not be the portion of members of your household in the name of Jesus. And so in the course of the journey of a whole year, we will be prone to many dangers many dangers, visible dangers, then invisible dangers. If you know that in the course of your journey, you need, you, you, you are going to face dangers, some of which are, are, are visible, some that are not visible, then you need to agree with me today that you, you don't need 
to go alone. You don't need to make that journey alone. You need to prepare extraordinarily. You don't need to go the usual way. You need to prepare spiritually and you need to engage supernatural power, which is the power of God, to journey with you. When you are well equipped for this journey, this 12 months journey, then you can be rest assured that you will get to your destination safely. I pray that that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. For some people, maybe hearing me now, their concern is how the year is going to be. How they are going to survive the new year 2021. That is a likely question in the minds of so many people. And truth be told, it's also a mind-boggling question. But as a child of God, you don't need to even bother yourself if you believe in what God can do. So many people started the last year, the past year, year 2020, without hope, without hope. But by the reason or by divine intervention, they ended the year successfully, far better than their expectation. That is what God can do. That is what God can do. When you think all hope is gone, all hope is lost, and there is no way out, then God proves himself. He proves himself. So, for those who are thinking about how the year is going to be, or how they are going to survive this year, well, I assure you that as you trust God, you will have great great, great testimonies in the name of Jesus. You will have great, great, great testimonies in the name of Jesus. Why do we count the years or why do we look at what may likely happen in the year? You know, the Bible says in Psalm 90 verse 12, Psalm 90 verse 12, the scripture says that the Lord should teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. The Lord should teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. We will be counting years, we will be counting days, but we require wisdom to navigate each day we require wisdom to journey throughout the new year. Throughout the year. As a child of God, then let's ask ourselves, how do we finish well? What are those things that we need to do to enable us to finish year 2021 well? The first thing that we must do is that we must serve God. We must serve God. We must prepare to serve God throughout this year. When you serve God with all diligence, with all commitment, without allowing distraction, without being lazy, then you will see and enjoy God's presence throughout the year throughout the year and it then means that you will end the year well because God is going to take control he's going to take charge so this year don't be among those people that will be begged or cajoled or to be pushed to serve God no Prepare to serve God willingly, willingly, dedicatedly, with all diligence and with all commitment. 
In First Chronicles chapter 28, verse 9 to 10, the Bible says, As for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father and serve him with a loyal heart and with a willing mind. With a willing mind. This is God's expectation from us this year. If we must finish this year well, we must prepare to serve God with a loyal heart and with a willing mind. Why? For the Lord searches all hearts. God searches all hearts, both the hearts of the young and the elderly. The Lord searches all hearts. And the Bible says, and understands all the intents of the thoughts. So God understands your intentions. He understands your intentions. So you should serve God this year with pure intentions. Serve him because he deserves to be served. The Bible says, if you seek him this year, 2021, it will be found by you. If we seek God this year, we will find the Lord. If we must finish year 2021, well, we must seek the Lord. And surely it's a promise, it's a commitment, it's a vow on God's own part that when we seek him, we will definitely find him. I pray as you seek God to journey with you in this year 2021, you will find him in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, he will be found by you, but if you forsake him, <laughs> if you forsake God in year 2021, it will be difficult to finish well. You cannot be assured of finishing well if you forsake. Because the Bible says the Lord will cast you off forever. If you forsake God in the year 2021, the Bible says he will forsake such individual. He will cast off such individual. So I pray that you will receive grace to serve God, to walk with him, throughout the year in the name of Jesus. The Lord will not forsake you. The Lord will not cast you off in the name of Jesus. In verse 10, 1 Chronicles 20 verse it says, Consider now. Consider now. Consider today that we are beginning the year. That you need to serve God. For the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. For some of us who are spiritually alert, you would have discovered that God has an assignment for you in this year 2021. And that assignment, you must discover it. And that is the purpose for which he has set you apart for this year 2021. And when you discover it, you do it. And Solomon obeyed. He obeyed this instruction from his father. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he started well. He started well. He obeyed. He served the Lord. He served the Lord. He was diligent. He was committed. But he did not finish well. He did not finish well. Solomon did not finish well. It is unfortunate. And it is pathetic. At the same time, it was avoidable. He made a costly mistake. He made a costly mistake. He misused God's anointing over his life. He misused the position that God has placed him. 
if you will like to finish year 2021 well, don't misuse the position that God has placed you. Don't misuse the anointing of God upon your life. Don't take God for granted. Don't take God for granted. He lacked self-control. He lacked self-discipline. And because of this, he couldn't finish well. This year, if you must finish well, you must have self-control. If you must finish well, you must inculcate self-discipline. Self-discipline, very important if you must finish well. The grace, the power, the courage to finish year, this year well. The Lord will give to you, the Lord will give to me, the Lord will give to all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. If you want to finish this year well, do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. It does not matter how you are beginning the year. I told you when I started this exhortation that how you started the year does not matter or how you start a journey, it does not matter. What matters is how you ended the journey. And so, it does not matter how you are starting the year. What is important is that you do not lose hope. The Bible says there is a hope there is hope for a tree that is caught on the head. At the scent of water, it shall sprout again. It shall sprout again. And so, do not lose hope as you proceed in this year. And as you journey, the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Job chapter 14, verse 7. Job chapter 14, verse 7. The Bible says, for there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, that it will sprout again. And that its tender shoot will not cease. Verse 8. Though its root may grow old in the earth. Yes, truly you are aging. Yes, age is not by your side. And you have expectations from God. But age is not by your side. Now, the Bible says, Though its roots may grow old in the earth, and its stump may die in the ground. Verse 9, the Bible says, Yet, yet, at the sight of water, it will board. I pray, that for as many who have given up, leave that scripture there. As many who have given up, they shall board again in the name of Jesus. This year, 2021, you shall board again in the name of Jesus. Job chapter 14, verse 9. And bring forth branches like a plant. You will not only board. The Bible says, you shall bring forth fruits, branches, like a plant. It means you will be fruitful if you don't give up. You will be fruitful if you do not lose hope. I pray for you. This year, 2021, by the reason of God's hand upon your life, you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. If you want to finish well, you must prepare to pray harder. To pray more. To pray more. Luke chapter 22, verse 44 to 46. Luke chapter 22, verse 44 to 46. Luke 22, 44 to 46. And be in angered agony. He prayed more earnestly. <laughs> Jesus Christ was in pain. He was in agony. That means he was discomforted. 
I don't know your current state of affairs. Maybe you are as well not comfortable at the moment. You need to pray harder. You need to pray more. The Bible says Jesus was in agony, but he prayed more earnestly. Jesus prayed more earnestly. Yes, the situation in our land has put us in an uncomfortable state. We are not comfortable because we have started a life called a new normal. The way we live is strange. The way we relate is strange now. So we are not comfortable. We can no longer shake ourselves as usual. We can no longer hug ourselves as usual. We can no longer speak openly as usual. So we are going through a level of discomfort. And so it's a time to pray more. Luke chapter 22 verse 44. It's a time not to relax. It's a time not to give up. But a time that whatever has put us in this state of discomfort should go away. And so we need to pray more earnestly. The year 2021 started with, with second wave. What is called second wave. But if we pray, if we pray, we shall enter a season of rest. Then the Bible says, then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Falling down to the ground. And in verse 45, when he rose up from prayer, <laughs> eventually, and had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. In verse 46, and he challenged them. Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray. People of God, this year we must not sleep, but we must rise. And when we rise, we must pray. We must be alert so that what? We don't enter into temptation. So it's a year that is full of temptation so that we do not enter into temptation. So that we do not enter into temptation. We need to pray and pray earnestly. We need to pray and pray earnestly. And as we pray earnestly, the Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. This year, we must work harder if we must finish well. We must work harder. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. Apostle Paul says, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. But I did what? I did what? I labored more abundantly than they all. I work harder more than before. I work harder more than all of them because God has given me grace. People of God that we are alive to see this year, God has given us grace. That grace is not for us to take for granted. It's not for us to be lazy. It is for us to work harder, to labor the more. To labor the more. Take it back. We need that scripture. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. Yes. He says, I labor more abundantly than they are. So we work more. We work harder so that we make use of the grace that God has given to us. We will 
not take God's grace for granted in the mighty name of Jesus. When we walk harder, we will not be hungry. When we walk harder, we will not need to borrow to survive. When we walk harder, we will not need to beg to survive. Because our efforts will yield. Our efforts will yield. And we will be able to finish well. The grace, the strength to walk harder, the Lord will give to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. If we must finish well, then we must walk with our shepherd. Our shepherd. Our shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. He's our good shepherd. We must walk with him in the year 2021. John chapter 10, verse 11. John chapter 10, verse 11. The Bible says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. Our good shepherd is Jesus. And if we must skate through the hurdles of this year, if we must finish well in this year 2021, we must walk with our shepherd. Our journey in this year 2021 will be easy one will be an easy one and will be so rewarding and will be so interesting when we walk with the right person. When we walk with the right person. And the right person that we can walk with that will make us and help us to finish well is Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you do not have relationship with him, this is another opportunity for you. If you are not walking with Jesus, oh, you are running your life at risk. You are running your life at risk. And so, for you not to run your life at risk, you need to walk with Jesus. We need to be under his control. We need to be under his care. We need to be under his tutelage. We need to be under his guidance. Because the function of a shepherd is to guide his sheep. A shepherd will guide his sheep. When we make Jesus our shepherd in the year 2021, he will guide us safely. He will guide us safely. He will guide us to our destination. He will help us to pull through all obstacles, all challenges, and all distractions. Because he's a good shepherd. He's not just a shepherd. He's a good shepherd. I pray as you journey with Jesus in the year 2021, you will get to your destination safely. In the name of Jesus. When we put our lives in the hand of Jesus, it means that we are saved. When we see ourselves as sheep and make Jesus our shepherd, then we will be saved. We will, we will be saved. We will be saved. And so, we need to identify with Jesus so that he can be our shepherd. People fast and pray. We pray for words. We pray for positions. We pray for sources. We pray for promotions. But we need to pray for divine guidance in the year 2021. And so, when we pray for divine guidance, He will guide us in our career. God will hear us and He will guide us in our career. He will guide us in our marriage as we take decisions that will impact on our lives and on our family. He will guide us in our business decisions. He will guide us in every way. You know the function of a shepherd in Psalm 23. The Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When we allow God to guide us this year, what it means is that we shall not be in want because he will take the responsibility of providing for us. 
You know the prayer of Apostle Paul for the Philippians. He said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, he said, and my God shall provide all your needs, shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. It means our God is able to supply all our needs. He's able to meet all our needs without leaving anyone undone. And that is what it means that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not be in want. And in verse 2 of Psalm 23, he says, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He makes me to lie down. He makes me to lie down means God asked me to lie down. He, 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 he pushed me to lie down. He, 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 he tipped me to lie down. He guided me to lie down in green pastures. I pray as you follow God this year, he will make you to lie down in great pastors in the name of Jesus. Not just a pastor, not just ordinary pastor, but a great pastor. A great pastor means a place where your needs are met, a place where your desires are met, a place where you have sufficient, where you have abundance, where you have enough to eat, to drink, and to give out. I pray that will be your portion this year in the name of Jesus. A great pastor means a place of rest, a place of rest, a place of comfort, a place of peace of mind. That is what God will do for you. In this year, 2021, in the name of Jesus. When Jesus is leading us, he refreshes us. He refreshes us. Because the Bible says, he makes me lie down in green pasture. A green pasture is a place where you are being refreshed. He said, he leads me beside the still water. Still water means a place where you are being refreshed. I pray throughout year 2021, your life will be refreshed in the name of Jesus. Your life will be refreshed in the name of Jesus. And he says, he leads me, he restores my soul. He restores my soul. In verse 4, he restores my soul. The Lord restores my soul. This year, Whatever you have lost spiritually, physically, financially, in every way and in every areas of life, the Lord will restore you in Jesus' name. He will restore your soul in the name of Jesus. And he says, he leads me in the path of righteous, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. Whatever comes your way in the year 2021, because your agenda is to finish well, you must fear no evil. You must fear no evil. Because the Lord is with you, is will stand by you, his rod and his staff, they will comfort you. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are, I want you to wave your hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord for his word that has come to you today. You have received everything you need to know to finish the year well. I want to say, Father, I appreciate you for your word that has come to me this year, this day. Lord, give me grace to finish well in the name of Jesus. Pray to God that the Lord will help you to finish well. Pray that the Lord will give you grace to finish well. I want you to pray that the Lord will lead you. 
throughout the year 2021 in the name of Jesus. Pray that anything that will not make you to finish well in the year 2021, that the Lord will take them away in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been designed for you not to finish well in this year 2021, pray that the Lord God Almighty will take them away in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will take them away in the name of Jesus. Call upon God to give you grace to be able to finish well in the name of Jesus. Call upon God to give you strength to be able to finish well in the name of Jesus. Pray for power to be able to finish well. Pray for courage to be able to finish well in the name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy concerning this year that the Lord will make way for you even where there seems to be no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray against every limitation that there will be a thing of the past in the name of Jesus. Pray against every trap that the devil might have set for you or any members of your family. Pray that the Lord will make you to escape and he will give you victory over them all in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that this year 2021, you will not look back in the name of Jesus. Satan will not allow you to, will not make you to look back in the name of Jesus, regardless of the temptation. Pray that Satan will not be able to make you to look back in the name of Jesus. Pray that you will manifest the great hand of God this year and that your victory will be real. Pray that your victory will be permanent in the name of Jesus. Call upon God that you will enjoy the help of God, the goodness of the Lord, the favor of the Lord in this year 2021. Pray for the grace to serve God diligently in the mighty name of Jesus with all commitments that the Lord will give you, give you grace to be able to serve him in the name of Jesus. Pray that the grace of God will be sufficient for you, that his mighty hand will uphold you, and that his presence will rest and abide with you on a daily basis in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. I receive grace. I receive strength to see the end of the year 2021. In the name of Jesus. Call upon God. Pray to God in the name of Jesus. Seek the face of God at this time in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will give you grace. He will give you strength. He will give you courage. He will give you power to see the end of this year together with your family in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will meet you at every point of your need in the name of Jesus. Pray that heaven will open up by you and over your household in the name of Jesus. Pray that you will know peace you will know comfort, you will know joy in anything, in everything that you do in the name of Jesus. Pray that the hand of God shall be upon you and that his grace will be sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. Pray and call upon God that the light of God will shine upon you throughout the year 2021 and that you will not walk into darkness in the name of Jesus. Call upon God that you will not walk into darkness in this year 2021 in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will help you and his hand shall be upon you and that his grace will be sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I don't know that project that you have started for this year. You are going to pray, Father, 
that project that you have helped me to start, you will give me grace to accomplish it. In the name of Jesus, I shall not live as ordinary in the name of Jesus. I will enjoy supernatural support in this year, 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall accomplish what I have set out to accomplish in this year, 2021, in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will help you and his grace will be sufficient for you. Pray that no evil will be for you and that no weapon that fashion against you shall succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that it shall be well with you to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Father, this year, 2021, journey with me on daily basis in the name of Jesus. Go ahead of me in this year, 2021. Go with me in this year, 2021. Pray to God in the name of Jesus. Call upon him in the name of Jesus. Seek his face in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will not forsake you. The Lord will not abandon you. Pray that the Lord will journey with you in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus. Pray and call upon God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. This year 2021, by the power and authority in the name of Jesus, you will finish well in the name of Jesus. You will finish well in the name of Jesus. The Lord will support you to finish well in the name of Jesus. The same grace of God that was available and was sufficient for apples to Paul. The same grace will be sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. The same God will work for you in the name of Jesus. Your glory will shine. Your glory will shine in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall see no evil in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hand upon, the Lord will give you victory in the name of Jesus. You will be successful and the name of God will be glorified in your life. This year, your testimonies will come in the name of Jesus. Your going out shall be a blessing. Your coming in shall be a blessing. And the name of God will be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty, faithful, and dependable name, we pray. Praise the Lord. We thank you profusely that you are able to join us again today. We pray that the answer that you have received to your prayer, the insights that you have received to navigate the new year, the Lord God Almighty will not take it away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God will be upon you and you will never walk astray in the name of Jesus. You will always journey to your destination in the name of Jesus and the goodness of God shall be made manifest in your life. So shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty, faithful, and dependable name, we are free. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Do not forget to join us again in the evening at 6 p.m. for the ongoing foundation fasting and prayer. The Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name.